Do you love adding green powder to your meals but hate the cost? Then it's time to learn how easy it is to make greens powder at home for just pennies. So today I'd like to share with you how to make broccoli leaf powder at home. So broccoli leaf powder, it's just as good as kale or other greens powder, but it is made from the extra leaves from your broccoli plants. So hello, my name is Lynn Gillespie and I own and operate 11,000 square foot of outdoor gardens and 9,000 square foot of organic greenhouse grow space. And here on the farm, we grow lots of different greens and make lots of green leaf powder. So we are going to today make some broccoli leaf powder. Okay, here's our five easy steps to make uh, broccoli leaf powder. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go out and harvest the leaves from your broccoli. These are some of the smaller leaves that we have. Um, we're actually growing uh, sprouting broccoli, so it has the smaller leaves. Um, but you can do this with the big leaves too. If you've got a big leaf, then you may want to just take that rib out and just do the, the tender part of the leaf. Okay, so the first step is to go ahead and wash them and get them dry. And then we are going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. Didn't know I was cutting. So we're going to cut these up just a little bit so it doesn't take a lot and we'll put these on the dehydrator rack and you can use whichever type of dehydrator you have. They don't have to be single layer but you don't want them more than maybe two or three layers deep. Okay we'll get a rack full. And you can use the round racks, you can use the square racks, it doesn't matter. Um, we are going to cook these, cook these, we're going to dehydrate these at 140 degrees. And I'm going to put them on for six hours and check them. And then uh, what I want to do is to have them crispy. So six to eight hours at uh, about 140 degrees will take care of that. So we're going to go put this on the dehydrator. Alrighty, here we are. This is what it looks like after it dries. And you can hear, can you hear? It's really crispy. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna first put this in this bowl just to kind of contain it, so I'm not losing any bits. Um, this one has the, the little rack uh, pieces on it so that you can control smaller bits. So you could do it either way. If you do this without the screen on it, you can lose a few more pieces down into the dehydrator, but it's really not a big deal. You're going to lose some on the counter anyways. Okay, so once we have this at this stage, like I said, very crispy. The stems are still on here because these are the little bit thinner stems. Then you can go into your blender or today we're going to go ahead and use the food processor. And... I'm going to crunch that up a little bit so we can get that in there. This stuff is amazing. It's, it's, it's like kale powder or spinach powder or anything like that, but you're using the leftover parts of the plant that from the broccoli that you don't normally use. So to me, it's extra savings when you can get extra product here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, Blend this up. All right, so I run this in the food presser, so um, I'm going to go just a little bit more. I want a little bit smaller. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, that's better. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to just run it through my strainer. So that way I can get all the big pieces out because I don't want them in my powder. And then the big pieces, I can run them back through again with the next batch. Um, but all the little pieces can fall through. Okay, and then the bigger pieces are going to go in with the next batch. 
And then we're going to take powder. So now we have just, just pure powdered broccoli leaves. Fabulous stuff. I hide it in cookies and cakes and I even put it in the dog food. So it's really good stuff. Okay, and then that goes into a jar. And you can do several batches. Put that in your jar, put a lid on it. And this will hold in the cabinet if you store it in a cool, dark place um, easily for six months. If not, if you want to go longer than six months, then I'd go ahead and put this jar in the freezer so that you can hold it longer. But now you have a super nutrient green powder that you make out of the unused parts of the broccoli plants, and this can save you tons of money on greens powder.